I'm going to continue looking at our ponds um, and modeling ponds and uh, I want to take a look at a particular tool called pond or create 3D by volume and that will create a three-dimensional element um, based on a, some volume uh, target that you give it. Um, so before we get to the tool itself I want to, I have a, a closed uh, element that you know civil geometry element and I've, I'm going to use that as my bottom of my pond and um, I'm going to work up from there using that tool. Uh, this is, you can see, it's got some basic rules on it, um, nothing fancy. Um, it currently doesn't have any uh, elevation to it, so I'm going to go ahead and, and assign it an elevation or uh, put a profile on it, if you will. So in my case, I'm going to go to the vertical geometry tools. And um, first, I'll go ahead and select my feature definition. I always like to, you know, kind of assign a feature definition. So in this case, I'm going to work with site pond. Keep it simple. Profile by constant elevation. That's the vertical geometry tool. Uh, simple. Just give it an elevation and, and move on. So in this case, uh, I'm going to give it the elevation 5258. Um, and I'm going to uh, give it a element template. And we'll just call this uh, by volume bottom. It's a data point to accept it. 5258 is the elevation. And so if I go ahead and take a look at that and profile, I can see site palm bottom at 5258. Okay, so now I'm ready to use the 3D geometry tool. Um, it can be found under 3D geometry and it's called create 3D by volume. So it's just simply going to uh, create a element based on a volume uh, target you give it and some slopes. So uh, it has two design methods. You can work from the top down or the bottom up. In my case the bottom up. Uh, free board. So you can assign a free board if you want. Um, I'll put two feet. Uh, that's simply going to target the volume that I give it and then add two feet to the elevation to get the final graphic or elevation. Uh, side slope, you can key in the, the slope method or the side slopes that you want to use to go compute to that point and then the target volume. And again, those are in ma the target volumes in master units. So keep that in mind. And you're working from a closed shape, so I'm going to uh, select the element. Again, the design method was bottom up, so I'm just following my heads up prompts here. Uh, side slope method uh, 2 to 1, freeboard 2, volume uh, 100,000, accept the design. And you can see here my three dimensional view to the right, it's computed uh, a graphic out there. I can take a look at its information. Um, it's 5264 is the elevation, 0.447 and I started at 52.58 so approximately six and a half feet uh, to get to that volume. Um, now that I have the three-dimensional element I can throw that into a terrain model um, and and continue to work from there. If I don't like the uh, if I want to target a different volume I can delete the graphic and run through the tool again. So you got a variety of options uh, to make adjustments if you just simply want to adjust the graphic as well you could do that. Um, maybe I want to slide this graphic a hundred feet off of the center line. You can see that the um, the three-dimensional line will not go with it. So 